Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. I have just come in from doing morning chicken chores and walking around the garden, and it's cold. My nose is still a little red. I got my hoodie on. It's not gotten over freezing yet this morning. I think it's still about 30 degrees outside. Hey, and that's cold, y'all. That's cold for me, and that's cold for us here in Alabama. But anyway, I just came back in, and I'm going to get a crock pot meal going. This video is actually part of a collab. I'll be sure to link the playlist down in the description box for you. I'm really excited about it because with baby boy coming in the next few weeks, and then we just got a lot going on with sports and different things. The crock pot has been my friend lately, and so I'm excited to watch some of these other videos and get some inspiration for crock pot meals. Maybe some things that I can fix up and put in the freezer. That way we have them after baby boy's born. I can just pop them in the crock pot. But anyway, make sure you check out that link down in the description box and watch those other videos after you get done with this one. If you're new and you have just found us through this collab or just found us here on YouTube, uh, welcome. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. We are happy to have you here. We'd love to have you subscribe and join us. Let's go ahead and start getting some things in this crock pot today. We're going to do crock pot, what is it called? Olive Garden crock pot chicken pasta. I've done this once before and we really enjoyed it, so we're going to do it again today. Got to grab out just a few more things. I think I'll have one of these for breakfast. This is a very easy recipe. Uh, it's five ingredients. I'm just gonna put some chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot. What? Do you need a bite bite? Wash my hands up and get white a snack. Anytime I start cooking, he thinks he needs to eat too. So what I was saying is, in my crock pot, I've got three chicken breasts. And on top of that, I'm gonna pour this Olive Garden Italian dressing. This recipe has five ingredients. This recipe has five ingredients, so super easy. And we're going to dump everything into the crock pot except for the pasta. We'll cook that this afternoon and put it in here. I'm going to cook mine on low for six to eight hours. You could do it on high for two to three hours as well. Just until your chicken's done. That's what you're going for. I can get into this dressing. All right, we're going to pour the whole 16 ounce bottle of dressing on top of the chicken. All right, I'm going to put probably between a quarter and half cup of Parmesan cheese on here. Just kind of covering the top. It's probably about half a cup. And then I'm gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese on the top. I'm not really worried about how I cut it up because it's gonna melt. But I'm just gonna kind of cut a few pieces and lay it across the top. Good job, bud. Good job. Ethan's working on getting his school stuff finished up. Lid on. I'm going to turn it on low. And then I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up. Get my hands washed up and this is just gonna go all day. This afternoon we will shred it, cook our pasta, add it in, and we'll be ready for supper. I'll catch up with y'all later. Skies. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. Either way, there's a freeze warning in effect until Thursday, October 20th, 9 a.m. It's much later now. It's about seven hours later and that chicken in the crock pot 
it's cooked through, it's finished. All I've got to do is shred it up. And I'm just gonna shred it right in the crock pot because when you cook it that way, it pretty much falls apart anyway. So all I've got to do now is shred the chicken in the crock pot and then I'm gonna cook my noodles on the stove. I've already got some water heating up. Um, then I'll drain them, add them in with the chicken and we'll be ready to eat dinner. There's a little one <laughs> wandering around. I remember from the last time we had this that we really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to it again and I'm going to finish showing you the process but just another reminder that today's video is part of a collab and that playlist will be down in the description box make sure you go check out those videos send them some love show them some love and if you are just finding us again we would love to have you subscribe and be part of our family around here uh, just a little bit more about me in case you are new my name is Tiffany and here on our channel we share day-to-day -day life we usually upload Monday through Friday sharing our day-to-day -day life with you. We do mobile home living on an acre of land that we're turning into our own one acre homestead. Share all that with you and love to have you as part of our family. All right, let's finish up dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken shredded and mix that cream cheese in really well. You can see that the chicken it pretty much just falls apart when you touch it and then as I stir it that cream cheese will mix in and make the sauce nice and creamy. Salting my water for my pasta and I'm using penne pasta. I'm going to go ahead and cook up that whole box. Once it's done, I'll drain it and add it into the crock pot with the chicken and the sauce. Y'all, this was as delicious as I remember it being. I ended up topping it with a little extra Parmesan cheese. I wish I'd had some green onions to add on the top. That's something I'll have to remember next time is to have some green onion that I can chop up and add on top. Because I think that would have just put it over the edge. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.